Have you also observed that everybody is rushing into and talking about investing money or is it just me? There are tons and tons of people telling you why investing money is important and how investing early in life can give you bigger and better returns. And they are right to an extent. Investing money at any given stage of life is important. In general, there are two types of people. Those who know about investing and understand how the market works but choose not to invest. Then there are those who don't know much about investing but do it anyhow because they see others do it. Both of these people are wrong and both of these ways can prove to be dangerous. Hello to everyone. My name is Saundarya Lakshmi Narayanan and in this video I'll go through several things to consider before you start investing because not having an investment strategy is similar to showing up to an exam unprepared do you really want to be in that situation i hope not so without any further delay let's begin today's video make sure you start earning before you start to invest Yes, you should not begin investing until you have earned enough money to do so. Investing using borrowed money can be riskier than not investing at all. The reason for this is that you might not have to want to pay a loan which could land you in a very awkward situation if you invest money using a loan and if the money is lost. Understand your income breakdown and expenses. Once you start earning, make sure that your finances are in order. It's important to track most of your money like rent, groceries, maintenance and utility bills. You should also keep track of miscellaneous spending that isn't as important as these. There may be some unnecessary expenses that you can cut back on. After leaving a little money in your bank account, you can invest the rest of your money. Have more than one savings account. Don't spend all of your income right away. Instead, set aside a portion of it in another account. In future, this money can be utilized for investments or in the event of an emergency. Clear your debts and dues. Clearing your debt and dues is the first guideline of investing. The interest rates on these loans can be extremely high, which you may not be aware of until these start to significantly impact your finances. Clearing your debts prior to investing is a very good idea. Build an emergency fund. This is something that proved its existence during the pandemic as emergency funds played a significant role for people to survive the lockdowns. The economy was down, workplaces were shut and prices of basic necessities increased. So building an emergency fund is a major thumb rule of investing. Now, how much should you put aside for an emergency fund? There is a basic calculation. The least amount you should have in your emergency fund is 3 months of your salary or 6 months of your monthly expenses. Learn and understand the market dynamics. It is important to know what you are doing before you get started because well begun is half done. Once you begin investing your money in the market, you have an equal chance of making profit or a loss. However, investing time and money in self-education on the market will always result in a great return on investment. This information can be put to good use in conducting market research and making well-informed strategic decision. Thankfully, Alice Blue has an amazing program just for beginners like you. This program is called Aspiring Investors Program, which educates you about the market dynamics from the very first level. You can find the link of that program in the description below. Find your investment goals and know what suits you, trading or investing. Everyone has goals and ideas about how they want to spend their money. You must understand why you want to invest your money and how long you intend to do so. For example, a friend of mine is saving money to buy an iPhone in the next 6 months, which is a short term goal. Another friend of mine is saving money to buy a house in the next 5 years, which is a long term goal knowing your risk taking capacity. I think it's important to be very honest with yourself about the money you have for investment because no one can predict the market. You may lose money at times or make a lot of money at other times. So you should only invest a certain amount of money that you can lose and not worry about your finances in the future. Always do your own research and avoid random news or tips. Do not follow the herd if you don't understand the trend. 
Yes, a lot of times you will listen to your friends talking about a tip or a news about a particular stock or sector that might be performing amazingly well in the coming time. Do not believe such news blindly and always do extensive research on whether the statement is true or not. Choose a stock broker that suits your interest and is best for you. The last and the most important thing is finding a stock broker that is best suited for you. Luckily, Alice Blue is a multiple award winning brokerage firm that was recently awarded by the prestigious Times Group for being the best stock broker for new investors. Alice Blue not only provides DMAT and brokerage services, but also educates you through its blogs, webinars, which is designed by prominent market experts. Alice Blue is known for its lowest brokerage of only Rs. 15 order on intraday and futures and options trading and offers free equity, mutual funds and IPO investments. Not only this, premium paid tools such as small case, ticker tape are also available for free. If you open a DMAT account right away, use the link in the description below. This was all in today's video. Next time, I'll see you with another exciting topic. Until then, do subscribe to the channel and please tell us in the comments section whether these tips are helpful to you or you already know them. Also, share this video with all the traders and investors you know. Investment in securities market are subject to market risk. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.